Hi guys, Primrose here and welcome back. Um, a while ago, I featured this uh, beautiful plant in one of my previous videos. And um, this is my Tradescantia tricolor. It used to be living down there, but it's growing so big. And it's looking beautiful as a trailing plant. So this is a short update of this plant. So it is still living in a bath in my bathroom. And this is my north facing window. It does not get any direct sunlight, but it gets plenty of bright light. And so far, that beautiful variegation and the leaves is still there. And it still, it is still very uh, compact, very uh, lush and full. Uh, so I haven't repotted this plant yet, and it seems to be happy uh, in a coconut husk growing media. So it gets plenty of space there. So I don't think I'm going to repot this plant anytime soon. And um, I treat this like a succulent plant. I rarely give it water and it seems to be happy that way. Plus, uh, it gets a high level of humidity in the bathroom. And yeah, the way I see it, it's loving it here. So I think this will be the permanent uh, space for this plant from now on so I really love this plant and um, so these are some of my bathroom plants so the Pilea Glauca is now living in my bathroom as well ever since I brought it home and so far it's doing well and everything everything seems to be doing uh, okay here and um, except for my uh, phalaenopsis we switched the heater on and most of the flowers uh, started to get desiccated and dropped. So, I'm okay with that. Sometimes you cannot really take control of everything. But it's been putting out a lot of secondary spikes as well. So that's good. And we have another flower spike coming out from there. And then uh, this, I think this is an oncidium. Finally, the flowers opened up, but there are only two of them. And it's facing that way. So let me just show you. So that is all about this Dreadiscantia tricolor update. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm wishing you all a nice day. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye!